Hello, this is Swati Mari and topic of today's discussion is when to use goal based agent architecture. To start with, one has to have the piece description for the given problem and analysis of properties of task environment. We define task environment as the environment in which the agent is going to act. <coughs> we have five agent architectures out of them model based, goal based and utility based are the ones which keep track of the unseen part of the world by having the models information that is nothing but knowledge of how the world evolves irrespective of the agent and what are the agent's actions effects on the environment. <coughs> now to answer the question when to use goal based architecture the first point could be the environment could be really complex and in that case goal based architecture can give us a solution when we have partially observable non-deterministic dynamic sequential continuous and multi-agent environment goal based architecture are the best ones to be used the agent in this case is supposed to work on its own by analyzing the current situation and it is not supposed to wait for the reflex to come and then trigger an action in this one as well, the agent needs to keep track of the unseen world to choose action to be performed next. To do so, it has the information on <coughs> the model that is nothing but how the world evolves independent of the agent and how the agent's actions affect the world. This kind of agent architecture is useful when the agent is given tasks or tasks to be performed, <coughs> especially when the process of completion of the task does not make anyone happy or sad. The goal based agents can handle multiple tasks. In that case, they can divide the given task, the big task into multiple sub tasks and it can prioritize one over the other. This information could be obtained from the piece description. It is good with unseen environments. In the AI domain, they are called exploration problems. It can solve the problem in either of the methods. It solves the problem either by searching or it can solve the problem through planning. For example, if the car in front is braking, then slow down or apply a brake to achieve the goal of safety. Now if you compare this one with reflex based or model based reflex based agent, in that case, even if the car is far away, the agent will apply the brakes at the condition is car in front is braking then apply brakes over here it will analyze how the world evolves that is nothing but how the cars move what are their general speeds in the traffic environment on the freeways accordingly it can analyze how far the car is and accordingly if it should just slow down or apply brake because it has to achieve the goal of safety and over here the goal is not to apply the brake when the car in front is braking. This is how it differs from the reflex based agents. Going ahead, <coughs> we have environment in which the agent works. There is internal state which keeps part of the unseen world. It has information on how the world evolves and what are the effects of the agent's actions on the environment. All these things together give what the world is like right now and also what if in the given scenario the agent has multiple actions to be performed then what is going to be effect of every action on the environment and these actions effects are compared against the, the goals or sub goals in case if the goal is far away and accordingly an action is chosen to be performed and given to the actuators to be performed on the environment. Now let us look at some examples those could be solved well with goal based agent. Any single player or multiplayer game can be played well by goal based agent. It can also solve mathematical problems such as achieving the goal of shortest path finding or just finding existence of path in between any two points. Given a set of statements it can also deduce new statements and can prove the theorem as well. To summarize. The goal based agent do not have any table for the condition action and it may or may not have information on how to achieve goals. If it does not have the information it becomes exploration problem otherwise 
it is little simple which can be solved with goal based agent this agent architecture is little adaptive to the changes in the environment and whenever there are such changes it requires model information be updated the problems with this agent architecture are many times the multiple goals are given to the agent and the goals are conflicting in that case the designer has to take care of setting the preference levels of conflicting goals otherwise the performance of the agent would not be as expected the agent architecture may achieve goals but it wouldn't care if the other agents are happy or not this is not actually the problem with these agents but they are designed to behave so if they care about if the agents are happy or not they would be utility based agent and not just the goal based agents these kinds of agent architectures they have moderate intelligence and if the same situation occurs again and again they would react in the same manner without any change in their behavior so far thank you this is end of the video